hello guys welcome to my channel my name is David today we are going to be doing um, slideshow using JavaScript and we're going to be working with our navigation uh, this tutorial is just about making a navigation making a logo and making a slideshow content so let's begin I'm going to start with my normal HTML format and today since we are doing we are dealing with slideshow and navigation i can just give it a title of a web i don't know it just came to my head so in case just to be in case let me write my style tag down so i'll be able to style it and let's start with our header since the header contains information um, about our navigation about our navigation system about our logo so let's just create an a header tag and within the header tag we need a div to collect our logo and i want to give the div a class of logo we are going to be creating a logo and yes the next thing is we need our navigation menu so i use my nav tag and we need an unordered list and list item uh, <clears throat> okay so i need to duplicate this element so i named this my home but this should be about this should be um services uh, this should be um uh, tutorial <coughs> tutorials and okay let's save and let's go to the browser and check what we have so we have to just this and okay from here let's go create our logo <coughs> um so before that let me style let me give a default style property because i want to remove all padding or let me just leave it for for a while i should continue with my styling and you should see why i should remove those padding and margin and some bunch of things so let me just create my new logo let me just name the logo life you two it doesn't make sense i just it's just for the shampoos yeah i like it is written let me take a little font uh okay Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Let's just leave it like this. Oh, uh, moreover, let me just give it some little, little style. Uh, I think this. Okay, I think it's better. So, so let's export it. Uh, is it good time? Good time. Let's see to YouTube. Yeah. So I have it on my desktop. I should check what folder okay so since I have that so let let me start my header let me give it a background color let me give it a width of 100% let me give it height of about 
um, 400 pixels so background color <coughs> about let me give it blue I'm going to change the background color but what's key okay. I think that's all for this so let me go check my browser and now the color we notice a little bit margin from the top margin from the left and right and also beneath it so we don't want that the way to eradicate that is to use the default styling property that affects all the HTML content so I go on margin margin zero padding zero and I want to give a box sizing because there, there are some cases whereby I give uh, my content a particular width but because I'm adding some padding to it it expands its width and I don't want it to be like that I want it to be within that width it should have a padding within that particular width box sizing box sizing um, border border box so I think we are good here so let's refresh and yeah this is what we want but now we want to change the background color I'm using my browser um, to um, tip or wherever it's it's helpful because I can choose the car here to choose the color I want let's see from here okay I think I like this color and yeah it is a very good implementation using this browser to tip for you for, for making um, your CSS or your you can use the console when you are working with your JavaScript it notify you when you have error and all that I make use of it a lot it saves my ass and so I change the style so I want to give it an alternative I want to give it a background image I know no 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 so let me go to my logo property I want to actually use my logo I want to give it uh, no 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 I want to give it an image uh, what did I name it YouTube dot PNG let's write logo logo yeah Okay, let's give it width 200 pixels. Let's just check. Oh, so that's too much. I think the color isn't even cool. Uh, oh, that's too PX. So I need to change <coughs> the background color because of the logo. Let's see what can we use. Let me see. Okay, maybe this is okay. Maybe it's fine. Okay, let's just use it like that. Let's refresh. Okay, now I want to deal with my navigation. I want. I don't want them to be in a block level like this. I want them to f actually float to the left. They should be beside each other. And the way to do that is to work with my property for my nav property. I'm calling my UL. I want to give them a background color. I want to give them a width first of about let me say 17 percent. You see why I'm giving it that. I want to give a margin. 
margin i want to give it a margin 50 pixels from the top and the bottom and all two from the left and right so it's it stays at the center between the left and right so let me see yeah it's actually working so i want to give it a background color of i think black as if it goes with it uh black i think black is not awesome In this cool okay let me give it that color and now let me deal with my nav UPL li I can either do it in two ways I can make them display block and um, inline so they become relative to each other or I can just give them float left and there's something about the float left you are going to see a fellow T. you've discovered some change i've saved it already so i want to check my browser and i refresh i discover i'm not more having the background color and it is not supposed to be like that so the way to fix this is to go to the u head and actually put an overflow eating i should hide anything that is overflowing and, it, and this is because the list item is now floating on top of the another list and the other list is not seeing any content within it so it assumes it has no content so and since we didn't give it a specific height and it is meant to um take the height of the list item so it's assume it has no child so we can do it in two ways we can either use the clear fix but for this tutorial i'm going to be using um overflow eating and let's go check let's check if it actually works yeah it actually works so now the next thing is let's remove the list style none and let's give it each individual width of I think 100 pixels maybe maybe it's too much okay <coughs> so now we discover if we should give it color c o l o a color let me see white it won't work why is because uh, the text is in between the anchor tag and we have to design it from the anchor tag in order to give it a color and we have to remove this on the line style this text decoration and let's just do that I have my nav I have my another list I have my list I have my anchor so I make my color white and let me give it a pattern about 10 pixels and text decoration like I said I want to remove the decoration I don't want any underlined I want nothing so I give it a non celestial so it's like the padding isn't working why because um the anchor is is working okay display let's make it display block that is it should take all the environment of the list item See, does that fix it yeah you could all you could also come here and see display in line just case so yeah 
so the only little thing we need here is just to give it when i hover over it i want some i want a border button so i go <coughs> i actually take this property copy it paste it then on over I want to give it a border bottom of one pixel solid white and let's just check let's check let's check okay when I over it yeah I have my and for the logo let me just give it a margin from the top Margin top uh, 20 20 20 px margin left 40 so so this is the work of overflow so from the header we set our overflow to be eating think it's nice like this and now we are through with our navigation menu the next thing we want to do is our slideshow we will actually have that from our HTML content inside the same header we want to give a div that actually uh, let's give it a class div that we actually hold some content we want to animate in a slide way um, slide so we have our h1 so our h1 that let's, let's give it an id let's give it text and yeah let's just write some generic learn to animate your css image so i'm just dropping a general text okay we want it to be in the middle slide let's give it with let's give it with about 40% I think it's too small let's say 50% and then margin 10 pixels from the top and the bottom and up to I want it to just stay in the middle ok nothing is happening why is because we use class not id for the slide and let's see ok this is where we want it to be now let's just make it a little bit 16 case of some text that's going to be really huge okay let's give it I think is our color okay let's increase the size font size about 22 pixels I see if it's too much reduce uh, see I want to make it text align center just to make it pretty yeah it makes sense okay now let's switch to our JavaScript so our scripting is just going to be dealing with this element 
because we're going we're just going to be looping through an array changing its content this particular content changing it and yeah that's all we're going to do <coughs> so i put my script tag cri pt so let me get the variable i want to work with variable let me see text equals document dot get element by id so we want to get it by its id which we name text now we want to create an array that we can tra transverse through it changing its content and giving an animation of timeout that maybe let's just say every two, two seconds we want its content to change simultaneously so let's just give our array a text content oh okay yeah which equals to <coughs> so i have to cut this away and let me just place it here so our second element should be um don't forget don't forget to sub subscribe for more third should be um you can also use this method for image slide let's just see uh, uh, Java script made easy at city. I think that's all about that. So the next thing we have to do is to actually write a function that we are going to be calling. So let's just call a function function generate so all this function is going to do is that um, we're going to be calling our array for we're going to be using a for loop for i equals zero and i is lesser than what's that text content dot length i plus plus so we're looping through the hurry so uh, thinking of using an if statement thinking this should be too complex for some people let me just use my if statement if uh, before that I want to print out the text content high and see oh no 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 okay I have to append it to text dot in a HTML equals that so after that I now need an if statement that is if if um, we need a variable to iterate loop equals zero if loop so if loop is greater 
return text content dot length minus one if it is greater we see loop equals zero equals zero then we see um loop plus plus then we use a set interval set interval give it function name which is generate e n e r -E t e generates every two seconds in that hole so let's go test it so we need to actually make this function work on our body on load our body 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 on load yeah so let's test it let's go to the console key generate is not defined so we're making a mistake yeah so let's check now every two seconds yeah it works you can see the slideshow works yeah javascript made easy and it should go back to zero. Oh, there's something wrong with it here. I think. I think it should loop before that. I think it should loop. Two, three, four. Oh my God. So 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 okay we need we sh we need it to loop first before actually calling this if statement because if we should call this if statement it will go like this when it increases one it comes here when it eventually becomes greater than the length of uh, our array it becomes zero and it's increased by one it becomes one and it display this other message which is not what we want and we will would just want to put it after the loop and the other thing is that we have to make this condition statement very reasonable that if the loop is greater than this text content dot length minus one that is we have one two three i think four the length is four minus one is three since array works on zero zero one two three and we said if it is greater than that three and it can't be greater than three so we want it if it is greater or equal to three we want it to actually perform that particular uh, query so what's wrong okay don't forget to subscribe learn to animate your css don't forget to subscribe for more so there's something wrong it's not actually treating through all the loop let's see one two three javascript made easy it's not actually doing that One, two, three. No, 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 no. Let's see something else. Let's see, let's see. Two. No, no. Okay. Let me see you. Let me see you here. No. OK. 
aqui. Let's just bring this down here. Let's see. So okay, I found the bug. It was because I used the equals to. So it's actually um, cutting the loop when the loop is equals to the text context dot length, which is theory. It is actually cutting it when it gets to theory. That's why the, the JavaScript isn't working. That's why it, it it isn't showing the JavaScript message. This JavaScript made easy. And thank you guys for watching. I know this has taken a lot of time and I'm sorry for that. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you.